How's it going everyone? So today I have a video covering the evolution of the Prometheans in Halo 4. So first up, we have the Promethean Knights. In these pictures, you'll see every version that the Promethean Knights went through. And then in this video, you'll see a whole bunch of clips being able to see these knights in a way you may have not seen before. Now, going into some gameplay footage, this was taken from GDC 2013, but recorded in May 2010. This is the first version of the Halo 4 Knight. As you can see, it's in something between the Halo 3 and Halo Reach game engine. At this point, they also prototyped the Watcher. They had most of the mechanics for it pinned down already. Now, this was the original intended design for the Knight, but Scott Warner told the art director at 3 for 3 that it reminded him of the Geth from Mass Effect, so they changed it up. Now, if you want my opinion, I love this design. It reminds me of the Vex from Destiny, and I know the Vex came after this, so it makes me wonder if this design actually inspired the Vex's design in Destiny. Here's some gameplay of this knight. You cannot roll around in the ball for some reason while controlling him, and instead of a homing rifle, in this build he has a chain gun. Here's its melee animation, and from all this gameplay you can pretty much get an idea of what this character would have been like. The next version of the knight is when they were kind of going more towards the lore of Halo 4, where you have this human or Promethean passenger, basically a consciousness downloaded into this machine and converted into an AI so that they can serve as servant warriors into the war for the didact. But why the humanoid? Yeah, that was, uh, that was 3 for 3's idea. I think Bungie would have handled it a little differently. To me, it kind of looks like an alien using like an armature or maybe an exoskeleton so that it can go into battle, which is probably not what they wanted to do because it's supposed to be like a consciousness inside this vessel, this machine, and it has no choice but to fight. And right now, it kind of looks a little bit too free, like it almost could break out, you know? So. I guess that's why they scrapped it, but it is really interesting and creepy. And I also do like the mobility on this guy. You can also throw grenades and melee as well. And in case you're wondering, the teleporting, if you saw that, that is just the equipment. Right now I just gave it the time dilation pistol, which is what the watchers used in the early builds. Basically they just shot these things at you and, you know, everything's slow inside the bubbles. But besides that, it also has a scale shot, which is pretty much just like a plasma pistol with some blue projectiles. Um, I guess they were testing out some Forerunner pistols. But either ways, I just did this so you can kind of check out this character while it runs across the screen, just so you can get an idea of what it's like. This character does feel very humanoid though when it moves around, uh, and it has great animations. I mean, just look at that. But yeah, let's move on to the next knight. Now this next one might be pretty close looking to the final one, but to me it's its own beast. There's so much unique things about this knight that I just have to show them off. First of all, you'll notice that it has a humanoid face. And this thing's creepy. I like the design on it, it's a lot more clean and slick looking. Um, and then the back of it isn't as... Well, there's not that much going on compared to the other night where it has the whole entire Watcher thing that it literally just shits out Watchers. <laughs> but yeah, I like this one as well because once you kill it, check out its death effects. They're freaking cool. You see this little soul like dissipate into the air like like the consciousness that it composed or absorbed actually just dissipated into the universe. It's pretty amazing, actually. In an early 2011 tag build, you can see that the Watcher is already modeled, as well as the Crawler. So you can pretty much see that they're fleshed out already, they just need their textures. This grunt up here is actually a placeholder for the Crawler, so before they figured out what to do for the Crawler, they just put a grunt in its place. It's pretty funny. But as you can see, this knight, if you can turn around just a little bit, there we go. But it's pretty much the same as the last one I showed, it just lacks its effects. It also lacks death effects, but you won't see that in this clip. The other knights just have some different weapons, but they're pretty much the same as I showed before. 
I hope these video clips allowed you to see the evolution of the Prometheans, and especially the Promethean Knights, because, man, they really came a long way. So many different versions, finally to land on, well, the one it did. <laughs> but it's pretty interesting. I love the history of the game development of Halo. There's so much to it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please drop a like. If you have not already, please subscribe. It means so much to me. And I will create more videos like this in the future. So I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Oh, by the way, this is a block out of the original night. So this is really the first one.